I've created something that I call the Clear Blue Presentation System. And effectively, what the Clear Blue Presentation System is designed to do is to make it easy and simple to give presentations. One of the challenges that we all have is that when somebody asks you to give a presentation, yeah, you go back to the laptop, you sit down, you fire up PowerPoint, and you go, okay, what should I cover? Which is sort of the wrong way to go about doing it, okay? Clear Blue Presentation System is designed to make sure that you don't miss anything, you don't leave anything out, and that you, you, your thinking goes in a logical, sequential order to be able to make this happen. Now, in my particular career, I've had some great mentors, and I've been able to collect the information that those mentors have given me, and that's all gone in to this particular system. This allows you to work on, take a presentation from the creation of the presentation to the actual delivery of it. And just like the SCORE model and the other supply chain models, suddenly you have a framework that you can wrap around your presentations and you'll be able to create solid presentations that are very effective. The ClearBlue system actually takes the difficult challenge of creating and delivering a presentation and chops it up into seven manageable steps. And if you follow those steps, what will happen is you'll find that you're spending your time working on the stuff that matters, which is understanding your audience, understanding exactly what points you're trying to get across, and you won't spend your time working on the stuff that doesn't matter, such as creating more and more PowerPoint presentations. Okay? Um, now, of course, the <laughs> this particular system has 38 separate modules, and each one of the modules has individual steps in it that allows you to both shape and refine the presentation that you're going to give. That allows your presentation to become more and more focused, more and more powerful. We've got limited time together today, guys. We're not going to be able to make it through that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually slim this down. I'm going to take it down to its really core element, which is basically seven steps that you need to consider when you're putting a presentation together. Okay, it goes from plan, organize, create, demo, rehearse, present, and change. Now, here's my challenge. This is valuable information. Somehow I've got to get this to stick in your head. There's a tattoo artist waiting for you outside, and it's, okay, no, I guess that wouldn't really be the best way to do it. I need you all to stand up for just a minute. Ah, come on, come on, I'm the presenter, you gotta do it. And don't you even try and get out of this in the back of the room, because I'm looking at you, all right, thank you very much. I promise you I will not ask you to introduce yourself to the people standing next to you. We're gonna do something very quickly here, so you need to be on board, okay? I have everybody looking up here. I need, uh, what this is all about is mental images, okay? So you can actually shut your eyes if you want, it doesn't really much matter. All right, I want you to picture yourself standing right here. You're holding a copy of your company's 2011 plan, the plan for the year. Actually, you've got three copies of it in your hand. I want you to look down at your feet. Oh my gosh, you're not wearing any shoes. Now you're gonna take these three copies of the plan and you're gonna drop them. They're gonna drop down, they're gonna hit your feet. Wow, that had to hurt a lot. Fine, I want you to picture that. Next thing I want you to picture is, you know those little uh, organizational things, those little, um, uh, drawers that we have out in our garage where we keep bolts and nuts and stuff like that. They're plastic. They're really crappy, basically, right? I want you to picture one of those stuck to your knee. I'm not sure how it's stuck to your knee. There's a bolt going through your knee, and you've got this little drawer there, okay? Can you picture that? Fantastic. This is the way you're going to be able to organize stuff. Next thing I want you to picture, when you were growing up in your house, you had a table. That table you ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner at. We've taken that table. We've cut a circle out of the middle. You're standing in the middle of that table. Somehow it's attached to your hips. Great, you can move around that table. You now have a place at all times that you can create something. How are you going to get through a door? How are you going to go to the bathroom? Interesting questions. We're not going to deal with that right now. Next thing I want you to picture, I want you to picture your back. Can you see your back? Hey, nice back, by the way. On your back, you've got little two-inch tall people, and they're on your back, and they're walking around in a circle. They seem to be angry. They're holding signs. They seem to be demonstrating. You take a closer look. Oh, my gosh, they're NFL players. Apparently, they're on strike. Okay? They're walking in a circle around on your back. Unfortunately, they're wearing cleats. Can you feel that? Ah, man, that's got a sting. I want you to think about your shoulders now. On your shoulders, there's actually uh, a, a big red curtain. It seems to be hiding a stage. Behind on the stage, you can hear some actors. They seem to be rehearsing something. You're almost tempted to move the curtain away, but you don't. Gorgeous curtains, really nice, very red. All right, we're almost done. Stay with me here. Now, I'm talking about the tip of your nose. Stuck to the end of your nose is a Christmas gift. Thankfully, it's a relatively small gift. It seems to be super glued to the end of your nose, and it's making you look sort of cross-eyed because, you know, when you got something there, you have to look at it, right? Last one, stick with me here. Over on top of you, a hole has opened up in the ceiling, and change is raining out. It's raining down on you. And we're not just talking a little bit. We're talking like lots and lots of coins are coming down. 
You've got no problems with those dimes, but man, those nickels and quarters are making you mad because you can really feel those. They're hitting the top of the head, hitting your shoulders, and they're starting to pull up all around you. Okay, we're going to go over this one more time. You just took the corporate plan, three copies, dropped it on your foot. Ow, that hurt. You got one of those little, uh, little organizational things stuck into your knee with the big bolt. You're standing in the middle of the table that was in your house when you grew up. It's attached to your hips. On your back, you've got a whole bunch of NFL players, very, very, very small, who are demonstrating walking in a circle on your back. On your shoulders, you've got a red curtain that seems to be hiding a stage. On that stage, you can hear some actors who seem to be rehearsing something. Stuck on the end of your nose is a Christmas gift. Somehow you forgot to unwrap this thing, but it's been super glued to the end of your nose. And at, just to make things worse, over top of you, a hole has opened up and change is raining down on you. You just can't get out of it. It's coins, nickels, dimes, quarters, pennies. Sit down. I apologize. That story will stick in your mind forever. <laughs> we could bump into each other on the street five years from now and you'd be like, hey, I am just so angry because that's still stuck there. Okay. There will be a quiz at the end of the presentation. Ha ha. 